Hello guys. My name is Kenneth. Today we'll be doing a tutorial on the basic functions of a total station. I will be using the for if OTS one or two total stations. So before we go into the basic key operations, let's familiarize ourselves with the nomenclature of the various parts of the total station, especially this for if OTS one or two total station that is new in the market. So this part here is called the ando. It is used to hold and carry the total station. This is the ando screw for tightening this ando with the body of the total station. This is called an optical sight it is used to sight the position of your reflector or the person holding your reflector so that you can then focus on and then focus on magnifying it so This is called an objective, or we can call it the infinity screw. This is the this is called the vertical motion screw. The vertical motion screw. This is called the vertical tangent clamp or screw, or you can call it slow motion screw, vertical slow motion screw, as some people know it. This is the battery. This is the battery. So this is a major button. This is a model plate. This is your instrument height mark for use using measuring your height of instrument. This right here. It's called the plate level. It's called the plate level. This is the bubble level, or the circular level, rather. The circular level. So, this is the try back. This is the try back. This is called a cut. It's the iOS 23C port. This is screen, and these are the key parts. This is the objective for Lisa pointing. Okay, so now that we are familiar with the nomenclature of the parts of a total station, especially this for if I would see as one or two total station. Now let's go into the basic key function basic key operations of 
this total solution. This right here, the red button, is the power on, power off button. So when you hold it down, the screen is going to turn on. So this button is for the what? The power button. This button right here with star shape is the settings mode button. It is used to enter settings directly. If you click it, you can do settings of backlight, black, it's supposed to be backlight. So once you put it on, the light comes on, it comes, it goes off. So we have the backlight, we have the laser, we have the contrast and all that. Also we have an EDM setting. So this is a setting button. To go back, you have to click what? Escape. This escape is to go back, is the back button. That's is to go into the previous page or the previous mode. Once you click it, you go back to the previous page or the previous mode, wherever you are coming from. So we have the key called SFT. It is used to change into number or uh, number or alphabet. So you can you can change number or alphabet, or you can also use it to put the what instrument height if you are surveying. And when you want to check, you change your instrument height. You, you don't have to start going uh, this thing. You can just do the changes here by clicking it. It will bring up the this when you're in so when you're in major mode. So we have this ENT button called is the enter mode, is the enter button or accept button or select button. It is used to select a mode or an option. This F1, F2, F3 are the function keys. They are the function keys. So they are used to select an option that is lying on the screen, on top of them, directly on top of them. So once you click, it enters that option above it. So the soft keys that are above the, the soft key or options that are above the function keys represent the keys you choose this mem stands for memory cfg stands for configuration so if you click f4 you go into configuration settings escape back f3 memory so this is on this page so we have the zero to nine keys. The 0 to 9 keys have numbers on them and and they have alphabets above each of them. Now, once you switch to alphabet, you have to click the number or the particular the number where the 